What's going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a very late TV movie review. And today I have for you, I think we're on Big Brother 23, episode 13. Yeah, man, this season's been moving quick. Like, a lot has happened. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, Tiffany and Hannah make a final two. Uh, they're both members of the Cookout Alliance. So they decided to just establish the final two that they already have and just make it official. Um, but Sarah Beth walks in on them. And they were kind of talking about Sarah Beth and how she was after uh, Hannah was saying how Sarah Beth was after Tiffany. And Sarah Beth kind of walks in, but I don't think she really heard anything. But Sarah Beth is definitely public enemy number one for Hannah and Tiffany. So SB and Kylan form a final two, but Kylan has a tough decision to make. Is he going to be loyal to SB over the cookout alliance? Or is he going to pick the cookout alliance over SB? We see that Kylan will, will pick the cookout alliance over SB. That's what he said. But who knows? He might change his decision. We never know. We never know. Tiffany has said she wants to bring more people outside of the cookout alliance to not draw attention to the cookout alliance. Guys, this was huge. That was my hu that was my only critique of the cookout alliance was that it was so obvious that they're an alliance. You know, on a game level, the cookout alliance is bad. It is just bad. Leave personal aside how you feel about the Cookout Alliance and why they form, yada, yada, yada. Leave that aside. Just talk about the game for a minute. It's just way too obvious. Like, all the black people are together. But Tiffany has saved the Cookout Alliance, in my opinion. She has saw that flaw. And now she actually has a logical plan. This is how she explained it. There are six members of the Cookout Alliance. There are five members that could potentially be in the jury. Six five equals 11 minus Hannah. So what I'm saying is that Hannah's part of the Cookout Alliance. She's the sixth member. But if each of the Cookout Alliance brings in a pair minus Hannah, that's five people that they bring to jury with them. That's five votes for them, for the cookout alliance. And for this plan to work, Tiffany's offering to go on the block with her pair. So like, let's say Xavier wins HOH, she's willing to go on the block with like Claire or somebody. So it's not obvious that they're working together. And that is genius. That is genius. And you can just get rid of the pair. So like Tiffany and Claire on the block, you get rid of Claire. She goes to the jury. That's a that's a vote for potentially Tiffany to win the game. You know what I mean? It's genius. The cookout alliance is actually playing the game now. At first, it seemed like they just formed alliance based out of like, you know, race, you know, race. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially the times that we're in. Stop calling I already, I already talked about this. I already talked about this. <laughs> anyway, but you guys get my point. You all get my point. So moving on. Whitney goes looking for votes. And is she successful? Uh, no, she's not really successful. But uh, she, she tries. She really tries. Oh, she really tries. Oh, Tiffany says good morning. And no one really said anything, but Tiffany just had an issue with Sarah Beth not saying anything because Kylan said something, Xavier said something back. The second time she said good morning, but Sarah Beth still hasn't said anything. And I can see why Tiffany is upset about that. I also have grown, in, grown up in a household. If you say good morning, it's rude if no one says anything back. It's just... It's just manners. And Sarah Beth, like, she started off being cool. 
But, like, I think she's starting to show her true colors, low-key. Like, I don't know. There's just something about her that's... I've seen a clip on Twitter. I've seen a clip on Twitter of her talking about her family members being, like, you know, rapists. And her laughing it off. Members being like, you know, rapists and her laughing it off. And I, I know it's out of context. She was just basically saying that Brent isn't as bad as her family members. And I think people are people are taking it out of context, but still it's just kind of it just makes it look kind of weird that she, why would you have family members like that? You know, or why would you even talk about that in a joking way? It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. But anyway, Tiffany is afraid of SB and Kylan's relationship. But I don't think there's much to be worried about. Kylan's still going to be loyal to the Cookout Alliance. SB is just a number. But Azad doesn't really trust Hannah. For some reason, Azad doesn't trust Hannah. And guys, I don't really trust Azad. I don't trust Azad to make logical game moves anymore. I thought she was playing Big Brother, but this girl's on Love Island, bro. She, she should have been on Love Island. Like she, I, she has yet to talk game in the last two episodes. She's talking about Xavier, and now she's talking about Hannah for no reason. What did what did Hannah do to you? Like, like I don't know if she just doesn't like Hannah for, for, out of out of like jealousy or anything like that. But I, I care. To, I don't really care about that. I, honestly, if if I'm supporting the Cookout Alliance, I, I do like Azar, but Azar might be one of the first people I would cut because I, I don't know where her head's at. I really don't. She's not strategic at all. It just seems she's more emotional. And, you know, I, I know I was bigging up Azar in the last couple of episodes because she's, I like the girl. I like her. She's cool. But on a game level, I don't think I could work with her. Not at all. Not at all. So... Azar, Azar just thought it was five people, the Cookout Alliance plus Hannah. She didn't think there was a six. And that's, that's just, that's messed up. That's really messed up. I, I don't want to, I don't really want to bring race into it. Is it, but potentially could she be saying this because Hannah's not fully black? <gasps> oh my gosh. Comment guys. I just got a hot take, hot take. Oh, they're gonna tweet about this one. And shut up. I, see how I'm making fun of you guys? Just shut up. But it is, it is a fair point, it is a fair point, but not everything's about race. It's not about race, stop making it about race. If someone called me the N-word right now, I wouldn't get mad, I wouldn't. There's your hot take, there's your hot take. I wouldn't care. I'd, I'd punch him in the face, but I wouldn't cry to my mommy. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, I would punch him in the face. Trust, trust that. Trust that. But where are we at with this episode, guys? I'm, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Whitney pitches to Alyssa, says Hannah feels like she can manipulate Christian. And Christian feels like, dang, Hannah doesn't respect my game. She has been. She thinks I'm dumb. <laughs> that's funny <laughs> I just thought it was funny how Christian reacted like ah Hannah doesn't respect my game oh she thinks I'm dumb I thought that was funny uh, but if you guys think about it Alyssa and Hannah are kind of like the same player they're gonna clash they're gonna they're gonna I think if anyone's gonna have a fight it's gonna be Alyssa and Hannah just watch just watch just watch and now, obviously, Whitney goes home. We're not going to see cakes anymore. Ah, that's going to suck. Anyway, guys, this has been a very late TV movie review. Oh, I forgot. There's no more teams. So how do I think that's going to affect the game? I think Derek X is going to shift to the Cookout Alliance, obviously. Claire's going to shift to the Cookout Alliance. All the pairs that the Cookout Alliance has. 
it's going to be one big alliance. It's going to be an alliance within the cookout alliance, which is smart. And for all of you people that hate the cookout alliance, I almost guarantee you that the cookout alliance will make it to jury so you can suck my egg roll. I'm going to keep saying that now. Suck my egg roll. Suck my egg roll. Is that racist, guys? Are you going to kill me? Are you going to kill me? <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been a very late TV and movie review. I will see you in the next video. Peace.